How plugged into God are you these days? Are you so plugged in that God can lead you to what you need? Does God lead you to the people you're supposed to meet? Or are you so busy assessing and evaluating and trying to look for someone or something to fulfill your needs that you're not even listening to God? It's amazing how many people are gifted to God, from God, the things that they need, but they don't see it. They never see it because they're so busy doing things that are, well, not right by God. When people make that statement, they think, oh, he's being judgmental. Oh, he's being evaluative. And the answer is, no, I'm not. I'm channeling for the Lord. It's something different. A pastor might do that when he writes a sermon. A journalist might do that when he writes a story. A news reporter might do that when they get stuck and go, God, please help me. I don't want to blow this up. And basically, that's what happens. The Holy Ghost around you, the angels that circle around you, the angels around you, one of my programs, talks about that. That if you're stuck in what you need to do for someone's life that is really related to you, then you absolutely need to ask God, what should I do? If you're dealing with something that's of struggle, if you have a relationship that is really on the bubble, it's probably because you didn't listen to God and you didn't do what you were told to do by the Holy Ghost. In life, we have moments of time to speak the absolute truth about how people experience how you walk in the community, how you talk in the community, how you report in the community, what you do in someone's life when they're a total stranger to you. Today at the Dollar Tree, I've seen more police officers coming in on their day off to pick up things, and it makes me wonder what they're doing at the store for But when I mention that, I'm not eluding, and I'm not colluding, and I'm not suggesting that anything wrong is happening here, but doesn't it make you think that? You see, what I'm pointing out is that people can do shit like that, and they think they can get away with shit like that, but what they're really doing is destroying people's reputation. When you do that, you're not in the house of God. See, the house of God is loving and kind, and the house of God is always aware of who needs what at every moment of time. So if you're thinking that you know what someone needs, then you can say, Lord, help me know what I need to buy for that person, for their gift, for their present, for the things I'm trying to celebrate about their life. But don't ever presume that your mind alone has enough understanding of any individual that allows you to make a decision for someone else's life.